I think you got to be a little bit angry to be good at things. I think you have to have anger inside of you. But I didn't fit in, and you could tell um, just a lot of, I guess, rules to follow that, I mean, I thought necessarily weren't necessary. Definitely things were better at the Alabama School of Fine Arts, but it was also definitely a culture shock, and there are also some damaging things in the adjustment, I would say. Um, at first, I loved the dorms. I was really excited. And you kind of imagine a Hogwarts experience when, when people say that you're going to go and live, you know, on campus. But we were in the middle of the city in a kind of dangerous area, so we were locked in. Um, and they locked us on the top floor of our school at 8 p.m. And, like, we couldn't get out. Like, we couldn't go to the gym if we wanted to. We couldn't go down to the library if we wanted to. We were just up there. Um, and it started to feel very claustrophobic by the time I had hit maybe 16. Um, so we'll just say that I was in a car um, in a parking lot right off of campus, um, in a parking deck actually, and I was doing something that was not illegal, but it wasn't allowed on school premises. Um, or, and, and an RA came by and he looked into the car and he saw what was happening and I got kicked out of the dorm the next day. If I had been doing poorly after that happened, I just crashed completely. Um, and my car just progressively got messier and messier because um, I would be at one friend's place for a week, another friend's place for another week. And that really, I remember writing so much about just feeling like I didn't have a home. I, I was just really over it. I just told, I remember telling everybody I'm done with high school. I can't remember how many times I just said I'm done with high school. So I just signed up for the GED and it was actually pretty easy and I did really well on it. <laughs> so um, I passed all of my um, uh, whatever credits it was in the GED and that's when I dropped out of high school as soon as I got the scores back. <laughs> I knew that I needed it um, and I'm it was actually kind of boss looking back on it because I had just been crazy. I mean, there's actually a lot of points in um, that semester that I'm just kind of blacked out of my memory because that's how like depressed I was at the time. Um, but at some point, I just thought I'm going to get up and I'm going to get out of this. And I don't know how it came up, but I raised my hand and I was like, I want to run in college. I want to do track and field or cross country or whatever. And the director of our program was like, Annika, you know, it takes a lot. You have to run in high school to be able to do that. And I just sat there and I was like, well, that just makes me want to do it more. So I did. I just emailed the head coach. He brought me in for a, re uh, a meeting and I, I talked to him and just kind of told him my deal. I was like, I've never ran competitively, but I, I do like run every single day. And he was like, well, you look like a runner. And what we really want is somebody who's going to be committed. And, you know, people are always just saying, just keep pushing, just keep going. And that's a really good thing to learn from track. It's just, even if you don't feel like getting up that day, just do it from the muscle memory and just keep pushing.